Overbrook Presbyterian Church Family Christmas Eve Service. I'm Bill Goss, and this is Mary Goss, and we are so thankful that you have chosen to spend part of your Christmas Eve worshiping with us. This year, we are continuing our practice of holding our family service virtually online, and we give special thanks to those families who have helped make this worship service possible. So friends, let us prepare our hearts. Let us worship God together on this holy night. Hi, church. During this season of Advent, we have moved through the Sundays that lead up to Christmas and the birth of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Turn to this one. We began Advent lighting the candles of hope, joy, joy peace, peace, and love. Joy. Finally, tonight we light Christ's candle for all the world. Oh, that's a big one. On that first Christmas Eve, the angels say, I'll blow it. Behold, I bring you good news of great joy. I'll blow it. For to you is born in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. Who's, tonight, who's David? Tonight we celebrate Jesus has arrived in great mommy, mystery, mommy, mommy, who's renewing faith and hopes. Mommy, mommy, who's yes, David? David was the king. Oh. Faded hopes and announcing peace to a weary world. Jesus comes among us in power and glory, inspiring fresh Christmas joy and calling us to lives that are full of God's love. Let Christ's light shine in the darkest corner of our lives. Let Christ's light shine in the darkest corners of our world. Let us pray. God of grace and glory, as we celebrate this Christmas, transform our hearts and our lives so that your good news is not an old story, but a fresh truth lift out each day through the power of your power of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Thank you. 
It happened a long time ago that Caesar Augustus sent an order through the Roman Empire that all the people under his rule should go to the cities and towns from which their families had come to have their names written on a list. Because Joseph and Mary were from the family of David, they went from Nazareth to Bethlehem. After a long journey, Mary and Joseph came to Bethlehem and found the city full of people who, like themselves, had come to be counted. They looked for a place to stay, but there was no room for them in the inn. No one in the busy city knew that Mary was soon to be the mother of the Lord of all the earth. The best they could do was to go to a stable where the cows and other animals were kept. That night, the stable became a holy place. The Savior of the world was born. Mary held the promised child in her arms, and her heart was filled with love. This tiny child was the Son of God. Joseph put some soft hay in the manger, the feed box for the cows, and he laid the baby Jesus there to sleep. On that same night, there were shepherds tending their sheep in a field near Bethlehem. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were filled with fear. And the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for behold, I bring you good news of great joy for all people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Christ the Lord. And this will be a sign for you, you will find a baby wrapped in swaddling clothes and lying in a manger. And suddenly, with that one angel, a whole multitude of angels appeared, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest and peace on earth. When the angels went away into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, Oh, let us go to Bethlehem and see what has happened. And they went quickly and found Mary and Joseph and the baby lying in a manger. And praising God, they told everyone they met what they had seen. And all who heard about it wondered. But Mary kept all these things, pondering them in her heart. Now, in a country far away in the east lived some very wise ones who studied the stars. One night, they saw a strange star shining in the sky. They learned that the star meant that a king was soon to be born. They set out on a long journey with camels and horses following the star. When they arrived in Jerusalem, they asked, Where is the new baby king, the king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east, and we have come to worship him. King Herod was troubled. He called his chief priests and scribes together and asked them where the Christ child would be born. And they told him, In Bethlehem of Judea, according to the prophets. Then Herod called the wise ones to him. He told them to go to Bethlehem, saying, Go and search for the young child. And when you have found him, tell me, so that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they left. 
And the star which they saw in the east went before them until it came and stood over the place where the young child was. When they saw the star, they were filled with great joy. And when they came into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and they knelt down and worshipped him. They opened their treasures and presented the Christ child with gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. That night, God sent a dream to the wise men, telling them not to go back to Herod, but to go home to their own land by another way. And Jesus grew and became strong, filled with wisdom, and the blessing of God was upon him. Let us join our hearts together in prayer this evening. God of hope and peace and joy and love, we give you thanks and praise this night as we gather to remember the birth of Jesus, who came as a witness to grace, who proclaimed peace, who lived with justice and love and walked humbly with you. On this holy night, we give thanks for opportunities offered by that grace, for tender moments shared, physically and emotionally warm homes to sleep, for the shoulder to lean on, friends to celebrate with you, for the ability to play safely in one's yard, for the ability to laugh and cry and communicate with each other, for reunions two years in the making. As we gather this night, we remember and pray for those who find themselves in places that don't feel very grace-filled, for those who spend this night in the hospital, those who are overwhelmed with grief, those who are alone, those who are just trying to make it through the night. O oh, holy God, fill us yet again with your spirit. Heal the wounds of your people and the division of your world and move us quickly to the deep, abiding peace began by the birth of this tiny baby. Above all on this night, we give thanks that you break into our world over and over again and remind us of the power of love that will never be extinguished, even though the world tries. We make all of these prayers and so many others deep within our hearts in the name of your Son, Jesus the Christ, who taught us to pray together. Our, Our Father, Father, who Lord art in heaven, heaven hallowed, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done, done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. 